a video review of the Hyatt Place Los Angeles LAX El Segundo Hotel. In this video, I'm gonna show you around the common areas of the hotel, the inside of one of the rooms, this room, a king bedroom on the fourth floor, and I'm gonna share with you my pros and cons of this hotel and let you know whether you should consider staying here or not. All right, let's go. This Hyatt Place is conveniently located just a half mile from Los Angeles International Airport. Really convenient if you've got an early morning flight or a late arrival and want something close to the airport. Now, it's a half mile from the airport, but from the terminals, it's about three miles, and so you're not gonna walk there from here, but good news, they do provide a free airport shuttle that'll take you to and from the airport. It's about a 10 minute drive without traffic to the terminal buildings. If you're bringing a car with you, there's ample self-parking, $25 per night. Now, there's really not that much around the hotel. It's in a pretty industrial part of town. Uh, the only remarkable things near it, right next to the Hyatt Place is another hotel, the AC Hotel by Marriott. Two blocks away is the Mariposa Station for the Metro C Line. So if you're looking to take public transportation around, that's pretty convenient. And just a like interesting factoid, from there you can see the Mattel office building. Yes, the same one that you would have seen if you watched the Barbie movie. Heading into the front doors brings you into the lobby. There's a neat water feature fountain over on the right, snack shop where you get some snacks, seating area right in the center. On the other side is the breakfast area where they also serve dinner, also have a bar in the evening, check-in desk in the middle, uh, and if you need a microwave where they serve breakfast, it's also microwave accessible all day. Now behind the lobby on the ground floor, there is a pretty good size fitness center for a Hyatt place. It also has windows that look out on the swimming pool that we'll take a look at in just a moment. And just across from the fitness center is guest laundry that you can do your laundry here in the hotel. Nice. Now just outside from the fitness center, the swimming pool right here, small but nice, well-maintained, nicely lit up even at night. Lots of chairs that you can sit on to enjoy the sunshine. And there's a small hot tub right back here. And then just next to the swimming pool, there's another seating area over here that has some nice sofa style seats, some fire pits, and they call this the Oasis Lounge. And just outside the elevators on the guest room floors, you will find a self-service ice machine. Now that we've seen everything around the hotel, let's check out the inside of one of the rooms. This is room 428, a single king bedroom up on the fourth floor. And we'll start with the bed section. Big king bed, nice floating headboards, clean look of this room as with many Hyatt places. I have a window, my window looks out on the AC Hotel by Marriott. Can't see it out there, but in the daytime it looks like this no view but it should be quiet so i like that looking back into the room we've got a bunch of furniture over here what's this furniture look like we've got the closet right here what's in the closet few hangers ironing board safe thing to put your luggage on and there's some extra bed sheets up on the top in case you want to maybe turn the sofa into a bed over here we've got three drawers that are empty. You can put your stuff in. There is the new international version of the Holy Bible in that drawer under here. We've got a fridge that you can put your things you wanna get cold in. We've got a set of coffees and teas that you can use with the teapot right up here. Big flat panel television, desk area. Over here is the sofa area of the room. It is divided from the bedroom by this little kind of glass thing right here. It doesn't really close off, but you know, it gives it a bit of visual definition. L-shaped sofa, um, little footstool right here, floating lamp up in the corner to provide some light. Uh, little two shelves over here too. Big full-size mirror up on the wall so you can admire yourself. How do I look? the door we came in through, and then the bathroom right here. Nice, good sized bathroom. We look at the sizable sink here, just one sink, big mirror, below the mirror toilet, and then a walk-in shower with a single fixed head right up here, and some of these common Kennet MD soaps and shampoos. 
All right, well, good morning after a one-night sleep in the Hyatt Place, Los Angeles, LAX, El Segundo, that has the hotel of the longest name ever. It's now time for my hotel review. And if you watch my hotel reviews regularly, you'll know I rate things on a scale of one to five Tophers. This hotel is going to get three and a half Tophers. Okay, so now let's talk about the pros and cons of why this hotel got three and a half Tophers. Pro, uh, close to LAX, great for one night on the way in, on the way out. Uh, the price was also right. So in any of these values, you gotta know the price. Uh, I used a Hyatt Category 4 certificate of my Hyatt credit card. So it was free, 12,000 Hyatt points if you were redeeming points outright. The cash price, $120 a night. Also, I think pretty reasonable. I found the free breakfast to actually be pretty good. I've stayed in a lot of hotels recently where the free breakfast has been really lousy and I generally say you get what you pay for, but the Hyatt Place breakfast, particularly at this one, had four different hot breakfast items, good pancakes, eggs. They typically rotate the hot items on different days. I was only here one day, so I'm not really sure, but I was quite satisfied by the free breakfast. The room itself is big, is clean. This hotel's not it, like incredibly new, but it's well maintained. Everything still looks nice and sharp. The air conditioning works well. It's not too loud. It's not one of those that's in the window and goes like vroom, 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 vroom. Um, and so overall, I had a good one night here. Now let's talk about the cons of this hotel. Why didn't it get five tofer as well? I don't know that a Hyatt Place really is ever gonna get five Tophers for me because Hyatt Place is just, while I like them and they are my favorite extended stay brand, they're usually just not amazing hotels in amazing locations. This one included. This location, probably not that great for touristing around Los Angeles because there's just nothing that you're gonna do around the hotel, like it's in this boring industrial district. Uh, you certainly could make this as a home base if you're here for a while. I would just pick one that was in more of a homey neighborhood that had like shops and restaurants you could actually walk to instead of this one. I feel like after a long stay here, you'll really feel like you're, uh, particularly if you're coming here for leisure, you'll feel like you're working because you're around all of these very worky type places. But if you're here on a business trip, then maybe that's actually something you're looking for. You don't want to seem like you're in too much of a party location. And really the only other final con that I have probably also comes with the location. You know, my uh, my window here, my view, really, really non-existent out here at the, uh, at the AC Hotel, just looking at another building. And I think if you're over on the other side with the train, maybe that side's noisy, which is maybe why they put me over here on this side with the AC Hotel. I don't know, but I think that goes to the whole location thing. Um, but overall, would I stay here again? I absolutely would. Um, having the Hyatt Category 4 cert and redeeming it here, great value. Same thing, $120 a night for the time I was here. I mean, I'm sure it goes for more, but um, that was when I was here, and so that's a pretty good price to stay by LAX. I, you know, like, as much as people often ask me, Chris, should I stay near LAX for my long visit to Los Angeles? The good part about staying by LAX is the hotels are generally inexpensive. And the reason why is because there's so much competition right around LAX, it tends to keep the hotel prices down. So if you are looking for value for your long LA stay, this could be a good one. You could take the Metro Rail from here, go around, use public transit, and give that a go. Uh, well, fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this video and you're coming to Los Angeles, you might enjoy some of my Los Angeles travel guides, or if you wanna know why I actually hate LAX airport and prepare yourself for flying in and out of there, then watch this video. As usual, I won't say goodbye, because I'll see you over here.